Hey guys, Jason here with another Mail Day video, a different kind of Mail Day video because they usually have one package, but today, as you can see, I have two. Double the trouble, double the fun. Now, the one on the left is just more cards from Japan. They're basically a mainstay of the channel at this point. And this one over here, a very strangely shaped box. It's uh, just supplies from a local card store. So since I don't normally cover these sorts of things, I'll, I'll start with this one. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this is quite embarrassing. I am actually left-handed, so as, as you can tell, right-handed scissors are a bit of a nightmare for me to, to use. But in the same vein, because I've never used left-handed scissors, I can't use left-handed scissors either. So I, I suppose the, the moral of the story is Jason is incapable of using scissors. So the, the store I got this from is called Vegabond. Uh, I know they're in New Zealand. They're a New Zealand brand, and uh, yeah, they, they did deliver this really quickly, so I was quite happy with that. Okay, so if I can just get this out. All right, at last we are able to bring the contents out of their bubble wrap prison. Okay, so one of the things we have here, we've got some more Dragon Shield sleeves, Dragon Shield mats. These are our sleeves of choice. We used them back when we were competing in Pokemon, and then we've, you know, kept up the trend with our Duel Masters decks. So yeah, Dragon Shield mats, they're generally pretty good. Black 4, uh, black's my favorite color, so it's going into my favorite deck. The good old Rub Control. No, we have not forgotten about it. Now, the other thing we have here is a playmat. As you can see, it's a Magic the Gathering playmat. No, I don't play Magic the Gathering, but I saw this mat somewhere and I was like, wow, it's a very good looking mat. I must have it. And here we are. So it's, as you can see here, of, well, I guess for you Magic players, you'll be familiar. It is of Nahiri, I believe it is, made by made by Ultra Pro. Um, it's done by a Japanese artist, so I think that's kind of why I like the art a little bit better than the standard Magic art. But yeah, is she the cutest planeswalker or what? Admittedly, the only planeswalker I'm familiar with, but yeah. Now, just for a quick size comparison, this is my Pokemon mat, which I like to use, and the dimensions are not like perfectly the same, but they're, they're close enough. It's a standard-sized play mat. Okay, now let's get into the stuff that you're all here for, the actual cards. What does the gauntlet have whipped up next? Okay, so again, these were ordered from TCG Republic. Whenever I need something immediately, you know, I don't bother. I don't muck around with another, like, shopping service just because it takes longer. I go straight to TCG Republic. Uh, they're not, like, the cheapest uh, in terms of, like, low-value cards, but yeah, I, I guess it's, like, a, a necessary evil. And um, they're not... it doesn't always break the bank. So if you order $80 worth of cards or more, or I guess product, I don't know why I said cards, uh, you actually get free express shipping. So I ordered this last week and it arrived within a week. So that's nice. It turns out that when you order $80 uh, worth of stuff or, or higher, you also get a free booster pack. This is the second booster pack that we've gotten this year. Thank you for your gift purchase. Um, sorry, thank you for your purchase gift for you. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. DMRP07. Okay, so just moving on to the stuff that we got. Ooh, I like this case. Very interesting. Ah, oh, ooh, wow, I like that. Uh, nice design. So we've got, we've got one Tulk of the Oracle, and we've actually got two Tulk of the Oracles. So uh, Damien was messing around with some of our Rush decks, and he was like, oh man, you guys need to put Tulk in the Outlier. So uh, one in five cards in the deck is a one drop. Well, he's, he's got a point. So yeah, here we go. Uh, these two complete our second play set. We've got four copies of Hopeless Vortex. So this card is going into our Worms deck. Andrew really likes this card. The Worms deck is more annoying than ever now. So yeah, there you go, Hopeless Vortex. Uh, we've got one copy of Galamuta. So Galamuta is a card from DM13. He's got a cryptic totem-like effect where he shuts off shield triggers. I thought this was a pretty cool get, especially because I'm considering playing uh, with DM13 cards. So yeah, there you go, Galamuta. Hydro Hurricane. I just got this to finish off the playset. In reality, I might not actually end up using 
uh, using four Hydro Hurricanes in one deck. I'm not even sure if I'll be making a Hydro Hurricane deck, but it's making the rounds online, and, you know, the internet really seems to like it, so uh, maybe we'll see what the fuss is about. Got two copies of an alternate art natural snare. This just looks really cool. So, and I've already got two from a previous haul. So why not finish off the set, even though natural snare has kind of fallen off in, in our rankings or maybe not rankings, but like, we don't like it so much anymore. Got here four copies of Merino Mancer. We might be making another Merino Mancer deck. You know, we've got the traditional Merino plus Initiates build, but I think Merino can be a strong engine for other cards using the same colors. Got a one copy of Miraculous Snare. I think this card's just pretty good, and I thought, why not increase the number of copies that we have? One Melania the Aqua Shadow. I've got three, so this completes the set. I was thinking about messing around with a ghost deck, maybe with like zero nemesis, uh, but you know that's a that's a long time away. Then we've got a copy of Warlord Ilzonius. So this is another internet favorite. Unlike Hydro Hurricane, I actually believe the hype surrounding this guy, and we can't wait to bring you guys our iteration of Warlord Ilzonius. Miraculous Rebirth. This is a really cool card. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of online lists use this in Wave Strikers, so I thought, you know what, why not join in on the fun? It could really help with mana fixing because it's a multicolor. One copy of Skeleton Vice. Yeah, this is the only copy they had. I'm basically just uh, trying to gather as many copies of this card as I can because, you know, Cranium Clamp, Clamp's good. Hashtag Clamp Masters 2021. And the last thing we have is Eviscerating Warrior Lumez. He's a Wave Striker. I had a moment of weakness when I was playing around with a Wave Striker list. I was like, you know, let's try a couple of different things. If we take out Burst Shot, maybe we can replace him with Lumez. Uh, might, might, might be good. Uh, at the very worst, he's just a 3-drop, so uh, he can increase your outs to Wave Striker abilities on turn 4. Don't think we'll uh, end up using him, but yeah, just, uh, just in case, because you never know. One cool interaction I did discover is that if you have Wave Striker abilities activated, you can actually Soul Swap him into the battle zone, and then it's uh, it's Burst Shot. So if your opponent breaks into Soul Swap, well, he kind of still have Soul Swap Burst. I mean, uh, Shield Trigger Burst Shot. But yeah, that's the video. A bit of a different video today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions about any of the stuff I bought, let me know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.